welcome back. In this video, we're just going to uh, talk about the batch services. So, batch service is needed when a large scale data application is uh, to run and uh, a parallel high performing computing is required. So, the developers can uh, create the batches to run a parallel task that eases the workload at no extra cost. So, AI charges for only the virtual machines which are being used so they can schedule a task or schedule a task, whatever you say. Uh, put them in the queues or manage the workload in the cloud. Um, and you can also uh, do the bench creation as well. Whereas to create a batch service, you have to follow very simple steps, just like here. Just type batch in the search, you'll be able to see the batch service. Click on create. And as you click on create, so you got to just enter account name, let's say explore Ayer. I have a resource group already defined for explore Ayer. And that resource group is da -da 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 -da, where it is explore Ayer RG resource group and the storage account. I need to just get in with the storage account here and I would say this one and into the dashboard and create. So what I would actually do is that it would just simply create the batch service for us and uh, after the batch service is created we would just be able to see more about the batch service and things. So let it do all the process and all the magic of your uh, that is going to happen at the back end that we already discussed in our fifth video uh, in the fabric controller actually. So deployment has succeeded and uh, now I'll be able to see about my bad services so in the batch service I would say you know, I'll be able to see the overview of that obviously um, this is a URL where the batch service is de uh, deployed I can copy this paste this here and see what's happening there so it tells me this is a batch service and blah 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 the bottom plate code already available there but the most important thing is that uh, applications So these are the applications right now I'm not having any one with that I can also manage the pools I can even add a pool if I just want to do that uh, it should tell you the pool ID current nodes current cores the VM size and the allocation state as well as I told you about uh, that it is more related to the jobs and things so I can simply create a new job as well and I, I can also schedule some jobs as well so the j job schedules so I can, after creating a job, I can add to the schedule and uh, I can also manage the certificates as well. So, right now there is no certificate and no tampering of algorithm is available here with the state. Uh, with that, I can also just go with the account usage and it will show you the account usage that is uh, happening around and things like that. But you can explore more. But as this is a very absolute uh, beginner series, we were just be targeting uh, the, uh, I would say, it's in-depth video in the advanced uh, tutorial series. So right now, it's enough for you to know what bad service actually does and what you can perform with the bad services and how you can create that. That's for the video and see you next.